Hey guys, here I'm going to be doing a requested video on my custom Cat 330CL with um, uh, Montesano logos on the boom. Now I had two or three people ask me to see this. They thought it was really good. Um, what I think happened is they saw from the wrong angle. It's a little bit messy. I mean, I'm going to have to go and touch some things up. Um, along with this standard bucket that's on it right now, I have three other buckets. Um, one of which was in the pictures and stuff. Um, but other than that, there's nothing else to this machine. It's just a Cat 330DL made by Norscott in 150th scale. So, um... Take a closer look at it. Um, the 330CL on this side is a little bit sloppy. I'm going to have to redo that, go over that, um, get rid of that black there. The way I did this was I took um, a little uh, can of black spray paint and I just uh, sprayed a little bit in a cup. And then I used a little um, like toothpick. It, it's actually not a uh, toothpick, it's actually an artist's tool. It's like a little bit thicker and a little bit nicer than a toothpick, but it's the same general idea. And I just painted, um, in the back here, I just painted from there to the cat logo black on each side. This side came out a little bit better. And then a 330 on that side. And then I did the same thing with the red spray paint for the line. Um, I'll probably go back and touch that up later. Uh, the hydraulic lines I sharpied black. They're not the best, but I might go over them again. Um, here's the tracks. What I did was I took the tracks off, painted them in uh, uh, gray for like uh, as if the paint came off, and then I also went over them with a little bit of um, red to give it a little bit of a rusty look and you can kind of see that in there a little bit it looks a little bit rusty that uh, brownish color and then I went over them again with a um, silver not spray paint but silver paint um, like special modeling paint and then while that paint was and some brown I went brown and silver and all the layers just made it look nice and then um, while the um, paint was still drying I took a little bit of dirt and I just sprinkled it on the tracks so it looks um, like weathered and looks like they've been working in the dirt up here I added a little, a little bit of grease and a little bit of I'm sorry guys the, it's kind of, the sunlight's coming in from outside and it's kind of overpowering my lights But anyway, and I added the grease over there. There, you can kind of see it better there. And then the Montesano logo I made with decal paper. Uh, I actually had to draw the shapes out with a shape drawing tool on my computer. I have a Mac. And a lot of people ask me, what do I use for stop motions? I, I use iMovie on my Mac. It just comes with it. It works fine. I prefer Mac for editing. It's it's nicer than Windows. Um, but if anyone also, a lot of people are posting Windows Movie Maker uh, things and I know that a few people have Macs and if anyone wants me to make a video on stop motions for iMovie I can easily do that. But, so the Matasano logo is just made out of decal paper. I painted over the cat logo with cat yellow spray paint. It's on the other side, too. And uh, you can kind of see that there's, in certain angles, you can see where the, whoa, I hit the camera. You can see um, that it's decal paper, but from other angles, like where I will be shooting a stop motion, it looks better, which is probably not going to focus, but
I don't know. Camera. Yeah, I think it's the lighting. Doesn't seem to want to focus right now. There. Like there, you can kind of see it. But, I'm down. No, where was the... There's a, there's a spot where you can't really see it. I don't know, it, it looks okay. You know, it's not the worst. I think it looks pretty good. From a distance, it's okay. So, that's just a quick requested video on my custom cat. 330 uh, CL um, just made from a DL and uh, that's really about it it's not very hard to make um, mine's a little bit sloppy actually but I, I, I think I'm gonna go and touch it up uh, a little bit later it's kinda dusty right now yeah it was in it was in my dio box um, for display so it's kind of dirty but that's the general idea um, so just put it back on my little stand here um, so yeah uh, that's about all guys so thanks for watching and I hope this helped um, if it didn't I can redo it um, I'm sorry about the lighting but that's all so thanks for watching guys